Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn about adverbs in English. Let's begin with what you already know, adverbs in Spanish. The most basic and recognizable way in Spanish to form an adverb is to add mente to the feminine form of the adjective. Here are some examples. Lento, lentamente. Feliz, felizmente. Urgente, urgentemente. Now that you have seen the adverbs in Spanish, let's move on to English. First, let's look at how an adverb functions in a sentence. Adverbs tell us how or in what way someone does something. Here's an example. Sarah drives carefully. Notice that carefully describes how Sarah drives. Be careful. Adverbs do not tell us about someone. For example, Sarah is a careful girl. In this example, we are told about Sarah. She is careful. In the first example, we are told about how she drives, not about how or what she is. The video will now stop and you will complete an activity identifying adverbs in English sentences. Now that you know what an adverb is, let's learn how to form them. In English, you just add ly to the end of an adjective. That's simple. For example, dangerous, dangerously, careful, carefully, nice, nicely, horrible, horribly, easy, easily, electronic, electronically. There are two spelling rules you need to be aware of. Rule number one, if the adjective ends in Y, change the Y to I, then add LY. For example, happy, happily. Rule number two, if the adjective ends in LE, just change the E for Y. Example, terrible, terribly. The video will now stop and you will complete an activity making adverbs from adjectives. Now that you have seen the basic way to form and to use adverbs, let's look at some more types of adverbs and when they are used. Among the many use of adverbs, there are three that are most common. Number one, adverbs of frequency. Words like often, sometimes, never, always. Secondly, adverbs of time. Words such as now, today, yesterday. Number three, adverbs of place. Here, nowhere. The video will now stop and you will complete an activity allowing you to check your comprehension of adverbs. Before I go, let me point out one big exception, the word good. As an adjective, good does not become goodly to form the adverb. Good equals well. Remember, an adverb tells us about the action of the person, not about the person itself. Congratulations. Now you understand adverbs in English. I will see you back here for the next lesson. Good luck.